Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus 25. We've come to the sanctuary, and in fact, we've come to verse 8, which is kind of like almost the most important verse here. It's a simple and short verse. Let me read it to you. Let them construct a sanctuary for me, that I may dwell among them. Very simple. In Hebrew, it's just like five words. It's very short. It's very concise. It's very giant. In fact, uh, let me read to you a few notes I have put out here from, uh, this one is from Stewart's commentary. This verse is the simplest and perhaps also the strongest statement in Exodus, a book often described as specially reflecting the theme of the presence of God, of God's concern to center himself among his people and to have them organize themselves around him. That's page 565. And so Stewart, whose commentary doesn't look like it's going to be maybe possibly as helpful in some of this section, and yet he uh, recognizes the substantial uh, element here that, you know, and, and some of these commentaries, when you look at them too, they, they keep coming up and saying, look, the book of Exodus could have like ended right before this. And we'd have had, you know, the, the, all the stuff that we've already talked about in all these days coming up to this, but God didn't choose uh, to have it in that way. Instead, we're going to have this major section, about a third of the book, uh, 25 to 40, these chapters, has to do with the tabernacle or the sanctuary, the same thing. There's a note here from Hamilton I wanted to share also. It is significant that God instructs Moses to relay these instructions to the Israelite people, not to the Israelite priests. So the instructions about building the sanctuary, it's not like going to the priests, the clergy, so to speak. It's going to all the people. And God is building a sanctuary so we can dwell not just with the priest, but with the people. So this is kind of an A, this is a chiasm. There's kind of a chiasm pattern going on here. It's A, B, B, A. Watch this. Let them, A, construct a sanctuary for me, God, B, that I, B, I, God, may dwell among them, A. There's a sort of that kind of chiasm pattern interesting in here, which usually you see that kind of a pattern and it often has to, is pointing to its significance. Kind of like, you know, the highlighter. God's putting the highlighter on, on this. There's something really important to watch here. I also wanted to mention uh, yet another uh, remark from, uh, which one is this, Hamilton. The tabernacle relocates the Mount Sinai experience. God, whose presence has shrouded the top of Mount Sinai, far away from the Israelites at the base, will now dwell in the midst of his people, the center of their encampment. The transcendent one becomes the incarnate one, with the result that every last Israelite will be able to behold his glory from a much closer vantage point. Page 451, Hamilton. So, yeah, Sinai, Mount Sinai is basically moving to the people. But, you know, does God become less holy? No, God never becomes less holy. So what's got to happen here? The people who have some problems, holiness problems, God is going to try to elevate the people and bring up them up to a higher kind of holiness here. So as God moves in to live right in the middle of the people, and he's at the center of the encampment here because there's an encampment and all the tents are all around in the very center. Uh, we'll see this more as we get into it. But the sanctuary is at the very center. So God is at the very center of the encampment. The people need to tune up. Hey, we are camped with the holy God. So anyway, this was kind of an important verse for us here. Let them construct a sanctuary for me that I may dwell among them. God wants to be with his people. God has provided a plan to do it. He's laying the whole thing out in detail now for these next several chapters. And the people will, will see what happens. But yeah, God is coming close to his people, but there's a part for them. God just doesn't just like materialize the sanctuary and drop it there. Like it comes down out of the sky and settles on the ground. No, they need to get the stuff together. They need to build it. God is inviting us to work together, to be together, uh, to commune together. So very important item here, Exodus 25, 8. God is asking his people to build a place so he can dwell in their midst. Holy God wants to dwell in our midst. So we'll talk about, we'll be applying these as we go on. You have a wonderful day and we'll see you back as we continue to study now. Now we're studying in the book of Exodus about the sanctuary system.